Oh, y'all, I remember this. I remember this. So this guy who owned or owns, I'm not sure about what happened with that. He owned a popcorn company called Detroit Popcorn, really big company, right? And he was exposed for leaving this comment about black people talking about that's why they need knees in their neck, right? Now, recall, this was 2020. This is when the Black Lives Matter movement really got a lot of attention because I guess non-black people, they had nothing to do besides pretend to be social activists, you know, because everything was closed because of COVID. Ain't nobody really had nothing else to do, right? So I remember this. Because my family knows a man named Mr. Love, okay? And Mr. Love makes pies. And I'm going to give him a shout out. If you're in the Detroit area, you should look into Mr. Love's pies. I'm going to give him a shout out right now. Because I have told him time and time again, the issue with his business is not that his pies is not good. His pies sell. But he owes, so he don't have like a social media presence. And he really does need one. Anyway, Mr. Love knew this black woman, and I forgot her name. I really did forget her name. Um, but she owned a popcorn business, right? So after this racist man got exposed for saying what he said about black people, uh, he was supposed to he was supposed to provide popcorn for some huge event. I forget what event it was, but they canceled the contract and instead they signed with this black woman who Mr. Love knows. So the black woman needed help packing all the orders and she asked Mr. Love like, please, can you help me? He was like, I don't have time. I'm making my pie. So he asked me like, can you help her? So I ended up helping her pack those popcorn orders, but that's a whole nother like random thing. But I want to get into, I want to get into, <laughs> I want to get into non-black people because it's just like, bro, what? bring up an example that I use about white people sometimes I always say that when white people say they hate black people that means that they're actually about to like put on a white hood go out and lynch somebody burn a cross on a lawn whatever right when black people say we hate white people we not doing all that we just want them to leave us alone like I have said before that I hate white people but I'm never going to be like yeah let's go lynch some crackers y'all like like what like at the bare bones of it that hatred is different honestly you know, I read all this stuff about how different languages have different words to describe stuff. Like some cultures that evolved in very snowy regions, they have like 20 words for snow, right? Some cultures have different words for love. So they can describe, oh, this love, that's a friendship sort of love. This love is a romantic love, whatever, right? And I feel like English needs another word for hatred because when you use the same word to describe these two feelings, something doesn't get conveyed correctly. The hatred that an oppressor has for their victim is completely different than the hatred that the victim has for their oppressor. Like just, just thinking on individual terms, let's pretend that a man raped me or something. Right. And I say, you know, like, I hate that man. Like I hate the way he made me feel whatever. Right. That man, his hatred for me is different than my hatred for him. Like it's, it's, Honestly, I feel like we need a different word for these hates because whenever a black person says, I hate white people, people pretend that it's the same like feeling that white people have when they say, I hate black people, right? So they just gaslight black people and pretend that, you know, whatever. Like we really need a different word to describe this shit, right? But this is my point. This is my point because clearly this does not just apply to white people, it applies to all non black people. I tell y'all all the time, all non black people are anti black, they all hate us. So I will sit here and say that I hate non-black people because clearly they hate me too, right? But again, the feeling is so different because I would never sit here and, for example, say, oh, that's why Mexicans are getting locked in cages or something, you know, because at the, at the bare bones of it, those people are human beings, okay? I don't think any human being should be being locked in a cage and left to die, right? Now, I don't like your ass because you're racist towards black people. But, 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 but I can still acknowledge that you're a human being and I wouldn't treat human beings a certain way, right? But non-black people, they don't have that perspective towards black people. They see something like police brutality and they say, yes, they deserve that, right? Like it's completely different the way that we say we hate them in retaliation versus the way that they legitimately hate us, period. This is my next point though, right? This man hate black people, but where's his popcorn business at? In Detroit, one of the blackest cities in America, quite literally, right? So you hate black people, but you up in Detroit, 
You got a business in a black neighborhood. You selling popcorn to black people, right? This is what I tell y'all about non-black people all the time. Yeah, they hate us, but they know good and well that they need us to survive. Because this is my thing. This man not white. He couldn't go to a white community and prosper or whatever because white people would be like, ugh, I'm not patronizing your business. You know what I'm saying? Like... People realize that the only the only community they can live off of is the black community. So they will hate us. They definitely will. But they will still come to our community and open up these businesses and make a livelihood off of us. They owe everything to us, but they still hate us, though. These people literally owe us so much. African Americans are the only reason that you could even come to the United States, my friend. If it was not for us and the civil rights movement, because we made the mistake of being all kumbaya for everybody. We was like, oh yeah, let the, you know, the, the Asians, the Chaldeans, everybody, let everybody over. You know what I'm saying? That was our mistake, right? If it was not for us, you would still be up in your homeland, first and foremost. We the reason you even got the opportunity to come here. Then you come in our neighborhood and you make a living off of us. We nice enough to go and patronize your business you know what i'm saying we're, we're the reason that you even have the ability to make a livelihood in this country and you have the audacity to say that you still hate us like is this shit not a simulation i swear like shit be happening and i'd be like this gotta be a computer program or something somebody is running this because so much just does not make sense i've spoken about this concept concerning white people before and i'm going to bring those examples back up white people clearly needed us during slavery clearly needed us during slavery because i mean they clearly could not do what they needed done on their own or else they would have got out there and picked the cotton themselves right this is the thing after slavery was abolished do you think white people were like whatever you know we'll just go out there and do it ourselves because we don't actually need them right no, 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 no. They made sure that slavery was only legal in a certain context when it's, you know, convict labor, right? Then they began to arrest African Americans. That's when you see the first huge spike in the prison population immediately after slavery was abolished, right? They made everything illegal. Literally, they made loitering illegal. If you sat there minding your business, you could be locked up for that because they needed prison labor. They needed slavery, quite literally, right? So these people can sit here and talk all the shit they want to talk. But the fact is they need black people even to the present day. This is not something just back then. No, this is a current occurrence. This man made this post talk about, yeah, that's why black people need to get their necks knelt on. If you really felt that froggy, you would jump your ass into a non-black community. You will open your business somewhere else. But no, you open it in a black community because you need black people. You can talk all the shit you want to talk, but you need black people. And this is not even just a United States phenomenon. This is not something I only see in the U.S. Look at the whole world, bro. White people talk all this shit about Africans. That white people be in Europe, but we hate Africans, so and so and so. But you see their asses is in Africa, still in all their resources making sure that the africans are oppressed and working in the diamond mines and the rubber fields and shit because they need black people this is not even just the united states thing this is a worldwide occurrence i swear to god the whole world needs black people and it just it makes no sense to me because y'all like i said this shit gotta be a simulation nothing makes sense here like this makes no sense you telling me that white people enslaved black people they stole us from africa took us here enslaved us beat us raped us treated us like animals right yet everybody in the world be like yeah black people are the violent ones yeah those are the ones we hate white people we love them even though white people went to those people's countries and treated them like animals too like this makes no sense it don't even make sense y'all